Hello, Learning Space families. It is your facilitator, Miss Amika. And today, I will be reading to you a book called A Tree is Four by Judith Bauer Stamper. This month, our study is all about trees. Have you ever wondered what chocolate, a canoe, and a pencil have in common? Well, they all come from trees. They find out what other cool things come from trees. You might be surprised. Let's read our story now. What are trees for? They're for giving us a cool spot to have a picnic. Trees are for shade and much, much more. A tree is for having fun. My swing hangs from a tree in my backyard. When my dad pushes me, I fly high into the sky. We climb up to play in our secret tree house. A tree house can be a, a pirate ship or a clubhouse or even a spaceship. family goes camping in the deep dark woods. At night we tell spooky stories around a campfire. That sounds so much fun. Trees are great when you're playing hide and seek. Don't peek before you're done counting. A tree is for delicious food. Apples, Oranges, bananas, and pears all grow on trees. Have you ever picked a snack off a fruit tree? Hmm, I have. Maple syrup comes from trees. Just catch the sap in a bucket to make sugar maple treats. Look below. Nuts fall to the ground under hickory, pecan, and walnut trees. Squirrels like nuts too. So hurry up and pick your nuts if you want them. Did you know that chocolate comes from a tree? Hmm. The bean of the cocoa tree are used to make frosting for this delicious cupcake. A tree is for building houses. All over the world, people live in houses made from trees. This house in Peru sits on a riverbank. Wooden slits keep the houses high and dry. Some people in Kenya built this roadhouse of sticks. Its, it's thatched roof looks like a hat. This boathouse is made of bamboo. It floats through the backwaters of southern India. This cabin is made from logs cut from big branches and small tree trunks. Long ago many Americans grew up in log cabins including Abraham Lincoln. People still use trees to build new homes. At a, land, at a lumber mill, people cut tree logs into wooden boards of different lengths and widths. Carpenters nail the boards together to put up the house's frames. Next, they add a roof and walls. They finish off the house with wooden floors and wooden doors. When the house is done, a family moves into their new home. A tree is for making all kinds of things. This guitar is made from a soft wood. It vibrates with music that makes you tap your feet. 
This baseball bat is made from a hardwood that's so strong it can hit a home run. Wooden canoes are lightweight and easy to paddle. Did you know that rubber comes from trees? Hmm. The tires on this bike came from the sap of a rubber tree. Hmm. Pick up your pencil and take a look. It's made from a tree too. Even paper is made from trees. Paper factories turn wood into pulp and press it into paper. This book started out as a tree. Hmm. A tree is for making our planet a better place to live. Trees clean our air when their leaves make food. The leaves take carbon dioxide out of the air and put oxygen back in. Trees help the environment in many more ways. Their big leafy branches keep houses cool on high days. Their long strong roots hold soil in place. Best of all, trees make our planet beautiful. What would our world be without trees? Hmm. That is the end. Thank you for allowing me to read to you today. Can you think of anything else a tree is for? I bet you can. Leave your comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you for being a good part of Learning Spaces. Goodbye.